All right. Well, this big girl, you gotta come out and hold over to that guy over there. Let's stick her on the stand. And so we can tear it down. See if we can't figure out what the problem with her is. And hopefully get her back together. Otherwise, you're all reliable. All reliable. You're gonna get tested this week, so. Week, so. Hopefully we can fix this one because we don't, we love old reliable. We, there's nothing wrong with that motor. Well, the last thing I heard is it was fixed. They need to know why you're pulling it out. Well, no, yeah, we thought, we thought, we, we got the cooling problem solved. So we got the cooling problem solved, figured that out. We had some loose intake bolts, just oversight on our part. Um, but it seems like we fixed that problem. We had no temperature issues this weekend. But the thing is still pushing cooling out the cap. It's pushing cooling out the cap, and it's and it's losing obviously losing cooling when it does that. So we made it through the weekend. Uh, we would just top it off between the heat and the feature. There's nothing blowing out the headers. The motor's still running like a top. I mean, we turned the thing 8,500 all weekend. Didn't have an issue with it, um, uh, performance-wise. You know, it's not laying down. It's not doing anything silly. Um, but there there's definitely something pressurizing the cooling system and we don't know what it is yet so this morning we got the thing unloaded got it washed and we're trying to diagnose it pulled plugs out try to pull the plugs out cylinder number five over here the plugs not coming out uh, dad worked on it for probably half an hour uh, penetrating oil and fucking heat and all it, that it, it's not that it won't break free it just won't it'll rotate out so far and get stopped tightly you know you can run it back in so it's either got some like rust water sediment that is like cured to it and it's in the threads and you only got aluminum heads so the threads are aluminum heads so we're trying not to we're trying not to force it out too much we're going to pull the head off and just hopefully we can clean up the back of the plug and get the plug out that way but we're pretty sure it's either going to be a head gasket or something cracked somewhere yeah. but yeah, worst um, case scenario something's cracked um, we had it a little bit warm. I wouldn't say terribly. I mean, I, I, you know, you want to run your motors 180, 190 degrees, 200, 210 is fine. Um, we did have it 230 um, at one point. Um, you know, this all kind of started when we broke that water pump at Oakshade, broke the fan that broke the water pump, whatever the series of events was that led to the water pump coming off the front of the motor. After that, that's kind of when these problems started. So. You know, if you remember back at the birthday re race week, rough piece of shit track, and uh, we broke a fan, broke a radiator, water pump came off the front of the motor, and all that. Probably turned two or three laps after that. Didn't realize that that you know that it happened uh, until I really started smelling coolant in the car. So maybe we got an air pocket in it and got it real hot that day at you know at one specific area in the motor. I don't know. Um, but we had some issues with it at Merit, kind of acting goofy on us. We've changed several caps since then, changed radiators. Um, had a cooling problem last week at Attica. Found the head or the intake, lower intake bolts that were free. Um, fixed that. The cooling issue was gone this week, and now we're having a pressure issue. So we don't know, but we're going to err on the side of caution, jerk this thing out, like Brandon said, get it on the stand, jerk the heads off, and see what's going on. Um, Hopefully, and you know, at least preliminarily, it doesn't seem like we heard anything terribly. I mean, for a motor to run the way that it's been running, that would indicate to me that we're not we're not down a cylinder, we're not losing compression, we haven't completely destroyed anything. Uh, so hopefully, we'll get ahead of this thing. You know, hopefully, we'll find. I, I'd love to find just a head gasket that's got a little mark in it and bleeding coolant by. That would that would tell us what our problem was, and we'll throw some new gaskets on it and slap her back together but um until we get it apart we just don't know that so we'll set you up on some time lapse here and uh get after it
as you can see, the motor is out of the car. So now the teardown sequence commences. Uh, Brandon and Dad, myself, we're all just taking this stuff apart piece at a time, kind of in a hurry, trying to get this thing tore down and figure out what the hell is going on with it. Um, we're pretty positive something's going on. Hey, you can't see it now, but number five cylinder exhaust port is uh, quite a bit dirtier than the rest of them. So something's going on in number five cylinder. Uh, be curious. I I'm hoping we get this thing down and it's like a, you know, glaring in our face, obvious problem. Um, that would be best case scenario. So we'll see what happens. I'll set you back up on time lapse and uh, let you see the process here. But things move fast. You know, the, the key to this kind of stuff is organization, paying attention. You know, we got our table set up over there for kind of the loose parts, the easy stuff. Uh, we got our box here, pulling the valve train apart. So, you know, this is this is where this is where it, it I would say it pays to have some of this knowledge. I mean, a lot of guys, you know, send their stuff out and tell the motor builder to fix it, but you know, we don't we don't have that kind of budget. So, you know, we tear it apart and fix it ourselves. Um, but nothing nothing at this point yet appears to be catastrophic so that's good um just tear this thing down and, and figure out what it looks like got the heads off this thing as you guys can see um preliminary thoughts head gasket was not sealing between three and five and i'm gonna show you why we think that if you come over here and get a look at this is a cylinder head off the passenger side of the motor so your even side two through eight all right if you look perfect clean line perfect clean line perfect clean line all right look at the set off, the head off the pass or the driver's side rather of the motor so your odd side one through seven you got pretty clean full of carbon and shit pretty clean so we're pretty convinced that it's a it's a head gasket issue um 
we knew when we put these heads on there was a little bit of warp to them um, we opted to run just standard gaskets probably should have put MLS gaskets on it um, so we're probably gonna we're probably gonna consult with a local motor builder around here um, and see what they think but uh, hopefully we can get a set of MLS gaskets ordered up for this thing kind of scotch bright everything up get everything cleaned up and reassemble these heads put this thing back together and, and seal everything up um, but you know that's you know building motors is not an easy thing there's there's a whole lot of I mean you guys see how it comes apart there's a whole lot of stuff that goes into putting these things together I mean from torque to you know and then we had it hot a little bit that didn't help anything especially with aluminum heads steel block um, so Hopefully we can get this thing back together this week um, and get everything sealed up and, and operating right. But you know, these little problems, I mean, the motor ran just fine. We we really never known it um, other than it's pushing, cooling out the radiator cap. This so is, this is one of those issues that if you don't know any better, you would just think you were dealing with heating issues and you would keep running this motor, keep running this motor and keep running this motor what happens is, is the moisture coming in hits this hot piston in here with the flame and everything that's going on the piston's super hot and then as soon as the water hits it it tries to super cool it well it ends up cracking the ring land and then you have a catastrophic failure happen so you know having a little bit of knowledge knowing that hey this shouldn't be building pressure like this it's not just an overheating problem you know hopefully we're able to save we saved it before something catastrophic right yep and the other thing is like when you get when you get <clears throat> any kind of blow by between these cylinders like this uh one common thing is like in between these cylinders you'll actually what they call torch the head so if it starts bleeding compression past that it'll actually basically burn that land out of there all right so luckily it doesn't look like we did any of that we didn't torch anything um, but you know, like I said, it's, it's just, a, it's one of those things, you know, you're building, I mean, whether you're building your own motors, or you're buying some shit from Clements or pro power or anybody, you know, these things happen. Um, that is just, it is what it is. So, well, uh, I had a brain fart today. It's been a crazy Monday. Um, as to be expected with all the stuff going on. I forgot we were trying to shoot a week video here. So we were getting ready to leave and I just remembered that. I forgot I had forgot to shoot some video today. So it was a pretty simple night. Um, everybody was kind of running around doing part stuff, and uh, I ran a heads up to uh, Hess Performance Machine this morning. We got these babies re squared the deck of them. They're all good to go. They were out 12 thou, and that's why it warped the head and blew head gasket. Um, yeah, I got him. He's been working on got them all cleaned up and ready to be put back on a car. He swung by and got uh, head gaskets and intake gaskets ordered. Uh, I went up and got all, all our parts ordered for the week that we need from CCR, the Racers Connection. And uh, BJ just spent money. Yeah, <laughs> get some, and unfortunately, you know, we've been fighting, I mean, everybody's been fighting the supply chain stuff. So even things as simple as tear offs you know you can't get the damn things uh so luckily there's some pretty big where i mean everybody knows the speedway motors and, and performance bodies and stuff like that and i think they buy so much quantity of stuff that they can keep a lot of it on the shelf uh whereas i think motor state which is a performance warehouse ironically um it seems like they're just min quantity order and they're trying to keep their shelves as uh bare as possible which nine times out of ten doesn't work out for uh the weekly racer so anyhow we got some tear offs ordered um but yeah going kind of back to that motor point we the reason it did that to the head is the only thing that we can figure is the week at oakshade the birthday race week with that rough piece of shit track when we knocked the water pump off well when it took the radiator out before the water pump came off it obviously was losing coolant and i didn't know about it yet um, and when you do that in a motor, you basically superheat cylinder. Wherever you get an air pocket, you superheat cylinder. So whatever coolant's in there, essentially you boil it, create steam. And all the sides of the head to gasket 
um, that's what happened on that driver's side. So, you know, it's just a, these are things that happen during racing. There's nothing that dad did wrong. There's nothing that we did wrong. It just, it is what it is. You know, you have a situation like that where you lose a radiator during a race and you don't, you don't catch it quick enough. And these are the kinds of things that happen. So luckily, you know, everything's, nothing's catastrophic. We caught it in time, you know, good thing everybody's vigilant and you know sometimes you get lucky like this so now another yeah. note it's not body season but we're putting a new right side on this thing this it's week it's not orange that's just simply a template it's not going to be orange that's just some aluminum that i got with a car i bought i got two sheets of i hate that color orange but i got it for free and that seemed like the perfect aluminum to cut my templates out of. That way I ain't got to remeasure and straighten panels all the time. I sit in the body table and when it's time to do a body, I pull them out, trace them out, cut them out, break them up, and they're the exactly the same every time. That way stuff lines up. That's why that lined up. You know, I mean, you couldn't even tell in the racing video that this was not the quarter panel that's supposed to be on the car hardly. You know, the, see, even, the, even our graphics lined up accidentally. So, you know, that building stuff that is the same when you can and making something to make it the same or help you make it the same every time certainly helps you out. <laughs> As I'm getting ready to turn on the camera, I kind of noticed that I do the same shit in the summer as I do in the winter. So you remember the different day, same hoodie thing? Well, different day, same t-shirt. Apparently I like the color black and I like wearing a very similar style of clothes every day so anyhow uh wednesday night um we not quite as far as we'd hoped to be but not behind where we we were planning on being i mean we kind of honestly didn't think we'd be getting this motor back in until sometime thursday anyway um wednesday would have been a bonus but uh we did did get her all back together it's all buttoned up a uh, few odds and ends things to do uh luckily again i'm off tomorrow uh hopefully brandon's Brandon wasn't feeling the best today, so he didn't make it over to the shop. Hopefully he's back to 100% tomorrow and ready to rock, because uh, I'm gonna need a little bit of help. Uh, but we'll get this thing uh, dropped in tomorrow. And I mean, it always is longer to put it in than it is to take it out. You know, you're making sure everything's right, everything's tightened right, no issues, cleaning lines, you know, just things like that. Just a little stuff that you do to make it right. Um, so we'll get it dropped in tomorrow. Hopefully by the time dad gets home from work, uh, we'll be ready. It'll be ready to fire, uh, drop the distributor in, fire it up, get it timed and make sure everything's percolating the way it's supposed to. Um, but hopefully we, I'm hoping to have this thing in by noon tomorrow and, uh, you know, pretty well, pretty well ready to run. Uh, if that's the case, we'll be in decent shape. Uh, we did get our vinyl today. Thanks to slicker, uh, for getting the vinyl to us. Um, so now it's just a matter of buttoning up the door and quarter panel laying a wrap on that side going through nut and bolting a bunch of tire work to do got a couple of new tires coming tomorrow uh so the tire guy's supposed to come out tomorrow night and give us a hand kind of cutting some tires and things like that you know like we talked about before with the opens it's a little bit a little bit of time consuming work to get those things all cut up so all in all in a pretty decent spot um not panicking yet not having to work all night yet uh so hopefully the trend kind of continues that way so going on the old youtube uh what is it thursday 4 30. i want to be loaded up tonight he's got a crazy number it's gonna be ready by eight to call it a night but nonetheless we really haven't had a lot of free time to uh like take action videos while we were doing stuff pretty much just kind of documenting the week uh this week but I wasn't feeling too good yesterday, not 100% today, but I got work to get done, so here we are. Uh, I got the quarter panel all buttoned up. It's ready to get the graphics laid on it. That's why the rocker's off of it and stuff. The door's over here. It's all done. I got to pop the rocker off and hang them back on so we can put graphics on. Uh, I got a brand new fender belt, side fender. It's all done, ready for graphics. BJ's up here. Trying to button up the motor, putting the headers on. Uh, we're pretty much at the point now. Got to put another header on. Then we're we're gonna be on hold, waiting for our 
motor builder to come home from work so you can get the distributor dropped in it. That's uh, none of us like to do that, so we just let him do it. So, uh, but yeah, we're at that point now. Uh, still not not too far off. Uh, hopefully, we'll be fired up by you know post dinner time area. It shouldn't take them long. Drop the distributor in it and put some plugs in her. Um, in the meantime, once BJ gets his header done, we're probably going to go ahead and get to wrapping on it on the right side and then uh, start nutting and bolting. And I got some setup stuff to do, stuff like that. Tire guy's not out yet. Uh, he said he might be out after work tonight. So hopefully we see him so we can start getting some tire work done on the bright note. We don't have to run those tires tomorrow. Friday night's just going to be a test night for us. So we could just run on our LMs that we run around here. It's not really going to hurt nothing. It's not, it's not going to be the difference between finding some speed and not finding speed. So, um, yeah, that's where we're at. I think that's going to be a wrap for the week, bud. Any thoughts? No. Uh, we'll try to get some video heading down there. We didn't really do a good job of that last time, and it's pretty beautiful scenery, I imagine, especially this time of year. So. We'll try to get some video for you guys heading down there and let you see some of the mountains and twists and curves and things like that. Um, I think it's going to be a pretty packed up weekend. They just put out on Facebook like a couple minutes ago that they had some race cars already rolling in the pits. So um, it's been a week. Uh, I don't I don't particularly love weeks like this. You know, it's a lot better to just wash the thing and nothing bolt it. But sometimes these things happen, and you know, luckily. Luckily, we were able to get the parts that we needed in a, in a pretty quick amount of time and um, You know fingers crossed that fire this thing up and, and no issues and everything's just back to back the way it's supposed to be so See what happens On another note you can tell it's been a busy week because if you look around the shop It is just Tornadic activity happened in this thing. I got body panels and tools laying out there's motor tools and parts just laying out. Old body panels laying up against doors. Yeah. So, you know, after we load up, probably whenever we come back, whether it be uh, Sunday night or Monday, probably have a whole day of just cleaning up the shop, putting everything away for the week. So, that's it from us this week, uh, old doodle bug. She's hanging out waiting for her pops to get home and uh, we're just here banging. So we'll uh, try to keep you up to date this weekend as much as we can. Like we said, we're still on track for Tyler County. Uh, as long as the motor fires up tonight and everything percolates right, shouldn't be no problem. If for some reason things change, uh, we'll notify you guys on Facebook and Hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully everything stays the course it's been this week and it all works out well. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and uh, y'all have a good one.